Hello guys, it is Monish Major here, bringing you a commentary over some 28 and 2 Infinity Slayer. Uh, the start of the game is very, very fast paced. I managed to pull off a rampage at the beginning of the game uh, and get quite a few kills with the energy sword. I don't usually use the energy sword. I don't really like the range of the lunge. It seems very unreliable and very uh, dangerous. You find yourself rushing more than you sh like feel like you should. And in this game, rushing at the wrong times, uh, like having the need to rush with a power weapon is quite a dangerous thing because, uh, I don't know, like it just basically forces you into positions where you have to expose yourself even if maybe you're on low shields or you are uh, not in the best footing because it's all you can really do with that weapon. Uh, but the players on the enemy team weren't exactly the best. Speaking of which, I have a game which I... I'm going to upload soon, which may be against the worst players I've ever played against on Halo 4. And that is saying something, because I have played some terrible players. But these players just go above and beyond the expectations of Noob Kingdom land. I mean, they are just disgraceful. Um, and it's a guy with free guests, and... Uh, I'm questioning even uploading it because it's kind of just pointless. I mean, the gameplay, I go 36 and 2, I believe. Uh, it's Capture the Flag. They have five players, and one of the players is just. One of the players is good, sorry, but four of the players are terrible. Um, and it's just this one player trying to carry his team through adversity, but it doesn't work out for him, and he just quits, and it's just us slaying four guys. So, yeah, that, there's that. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is Destiny, because I haven't talked about Destiny. And I'm not talking about destiny in the um, in the sense of achieving your destiny, finding your destiny. No, I'm talking about destiny, the game, of course. Destiny um, is a game that I, at the moment, am struggling to find myself. Uh, like, it's hard to place my thoughts on whether I am excited or not because a we know so little about the game, and b what little I know about the game doesn't seem to shout out competitive multiplayer shoot out to me, shooter to me. And um, I think, I, I, I don't know what other people are thinking. I mean, from what I can tell, it looks like a Borderlands Halo hybrid almost. Um, with kind of Halo gameplay mechanics, gun mechanics, um, but with a Borderlands, you know, open world uh, leveling up RPG maybe-esque. And kind of a big open world feel to it. Um, which, you know, I'm all for. I think it's going to be a great game. Borderlands 1 and 2 were some of my favourite games of all time. Uh, Diablo 1 and 2 were some of my favourite games of all time. I love these RPG-esque loot-gathering uh, shooters. But at the same time, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed, disappointed because, I don't know, I, I love Bungie's competitive multiplayer spaces. And although I didn't respond the most positively to Reach, at the same time... I knew there was a lot of potential within that game, and I know that a lot of the stuff was just maybe them feeling a little bit, um, you know, they didn't necessarily put all their passion and talent into that project because they've been working on Halo for so long that maybe they were getting a little bit frustrated that they couldn't bring anything new to the table, and also publisher disagreements. I mean, I think they really wanted to leave Microsoft by the time they were finished. I think Microsoft might have put a lot of constraints on them that they weren't necessarily happy about, and I reckon somewhere in the contract when they were moving to Activision, they wanted, you know, just full freedom. I reckon they just wanted, said to Activision, we will join you a, a, alongside, uh, as long as you let us make the game we want to make, um, which wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, and if that is the case, then maybe this isn't going to be the comp competitive multiplayer shooter breakthrough that some of us are clamoring for. I mean, Halo 4, I will be the first to admit that I love the game and I enjoy the game, but at the same time, it is not a breakthrough in competitive shooting. It is not a breakthrough in terms of uh, you know offering the most fair and enjoyable experience. It has ordinance and ordinance cannot necessarily be considered 100% fair bottom line and I know they're tuning it to try and you know uh, bring us a uh, more competitive uh, offerings towards the summertime but still it didn't offer the hype and the you know it didn't get into MLG I think there's a lot of arguments on the side of this wasn't the competitive breakthrough that we were waiting for that doesn't mean that it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination it just means what it means it says what it says um and at the same time, I want a competitive breakthrough. And I was really hoping when I first heard Destiny announcement, I was like, this is going to be it. And I saw a tiny bit of gameplay footage. But the more I read into it and the more I looked at the rumors, it doesn't seem to be that way. And what I was really hoping, what I really hope 
could happen with Destiny is that, yes, it's like a giant world. Um, you know, giant free roaming world, and there is the uh, ability to be able to, you know, free roam and level up your characteristics and stuff. But then at the same time, there is some form of competitive multiplayer suite. In the sort of the same way that World of Warcraft has that their arena mode uh, for PvP, there'd be some sort of uh, very competitive based PvP with even maybe specific uh, map layouts. And I think if they implemented that as well as they physically could, and the maps still had like the layouts of a classic Halo map, we could be looking forward to an excellent map. And I'm sure they have something in mind like that. Um, but I really hope that at the same time it doesn't take you know the back seat to the RPG mechanics. I want them to be on level. I want the I would want if they were to bring it in. I wouldn't want it to feel like a tacked on multiplayer experience. Like we go into an arena and you just have a little bit of fun, but it's not necessarily the most competitive or uh, balanced experience. I'm not sure how they would make it balanced, uh, considering there's going to be levels. But what would, I mean, like, considering, I, I don't know if they're putting gear in the game, I'm imagining they're going to have gear and gear prog progression, where the gear gets better on as you go in the game, so who's to say that you're not going to get into a 4 versus 4, and some guy, you know, is pretty much the same level as you, and pretty much as good as you, but he happens to have some epic armor that, you know, makes his stats insane, and then you can't beat that player, even if you're skillful enough. I don't necessarily know how that will bring a skillful dimension to the multiplayer. It might just be about who's got the better gear and who has been doing better in the RPG uh, side of things. Whereas I'd want it to be more like somehow separate almost. I don't know. Like maybe... Uh, I, ju I just don't know how they do it, but I'd want them to do it where the RPG and the multiplayer aspects were both there. They'd both taken a lot of consideration into both sides of that game, and you couldn't play... You, you could play the multiplayer competitive side, and you might not... Because I don't want it to be like a gear fest. I don't want it to be you have the best gear, or you have the most playtime, so therefore you're going to win the battles. I definitely don't want it to be that if they were to add in an arena mode. I'd want it to be an even playing field, but at the same time... I don't know. It's just confusing to me. I I I, I just think I I really don't want them to lose their roots because Halo Bungie makes some of the best multiplayer maps of all time. I've said it before. Like I mean, even Reach. I didn't like the game yet in some ways, but the maps worked very well in Reach. You know, they hadn't lost their touch in terms of making maps. In in my opinion, I thought Countdown was a great map. I thought Sword Base, apart from the top of the gold lift, was. Uh, where you could spawn camp that area was a pretty decent map for the most part. And I thought they looked great aesthetically. And I wouldn't want them to lose that side of their developing history. You know, there's so much experience that they've learned over those years. I wouldn't just want this to be a flat out RPG experience. Anyway, I've been Modest Major. That's my thoughts on Destiny. I hope you guys see where I'm coming from. Peace out.